Hello, my fellow tea bags. Sinrick77 coming at you again today. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure, but I do believe this is probably going to wind up being the permanent background, y'all. Uh, it's what I get the best picture with. It's what comes out looking the best. So, y'all let me know what you think, okay? I'm going to put up probably at least three, four, five videos today, maybe more, all using the same background. So let's get to it. Now, I know I just got this Bali, mm. and this is the benchmark Bali that I got in trade from my brother uh, Wolf Cookie on here. Uh, I traded him my... Uh, Seahorse crammed it for it. And right now on the overall length, we got just a little under nine inches. Four inches on the blade. So that makes it just a little bit over five inches on the handle. Uh, width, handle width. Closed handle width is an inch and an eighth. And so that means open it's going to be an inch and an eighth. Uh, I've already done a little bit of mods to this. Uh, nothing against my brother Wolf Cookie. Uh, he said he's never flipped it. All right, bro, I'm kind of glad you didn't. Because uh, when this knife, when I got it, it was actually kind of put together backwards. And whoever did the uh, milling for the latch didn't realize it was put together backwards because it's probably just trying to pump it out. But uh, the handles, they were kind of jacked up. There's really loose, a lot of slap to a brand new Bali. So I sat there and I took it apart and I switched the handles around. And when I did it, actually came together fairly, fairly nice. Um, I really enjoy this blade. Uh, I like the coating on it. It's a good, solid, heavy, sturdy flipper. Um, have no complaints. There's no slap to it yet. After I did my little adjustments, it flips just fine. There's absolutely, positively no slap, no play in the handles now, which is I'm really digging. But the only sad thing is uh, I cannot reattach the latch because... Whenever they put this together and they milled out the uh, pin holes for the latch, they should have actually done it on all four scales because now uh, the way it works out is I actually have the mill spots for the pin for the uh, lock for the latch uh, in two spots, like one on either handle on opposite sides. So it's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, like right here if you look at it like this I got one pinhole right here on this slab and the other pinhole is on that slab all right pretty cool pretty cool but that's all right it's all right I've uh, been told that if you're gonna you know mainly use it for a flipper go ahead and take the latch off and I'm kind of glad I did in this case because the latch as you can see right there the latch would have hit that blade a lot and I don't want that but anyways brother thank you very much i appreciate this uh i really enjoy this blade y'all it's it's heavy i like a good heavy flipper uh it actually has a really decent uh edge retention because i did sharpen it up and it is paper cut and sharp right now give me a couple more uh days of just tinkering with it i'll have it popping hairs but I can't tell you all the prices on the price on this one because I didn't buy it. But I can tell you that I found for Benchmark, they average around the $20 price range, which is not too shabby. You know, you got your uh, more of a uh, new age clip point style uh, blade on it. You know, it's got uh, what they call a blood groove in it. 
and you know that's that it's got nylon washers in it so that way it is a smooth open and close I can't complain about anything about this knife at all uh, you know I really can't it's a good little knife I'm really glad that I got to do the trade with my brother wolf and just for him I will put a link down in the description box because he's an awesome 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 cat uh, he loves trading knives uh, so if y'all are looking for a new blade to play with or something like that go talk to him who knows he might have something you like or y'all might be able to work something out he's a cool cat he does a lot of trades on here so hell yeah thank you brother you get a big thumbs up from me knife gets a big thumbs up I just wish that you know quality control would have been just a tad bit better mm. that has nothing to do with my brother wolf he can't he doesn't work for benchmark at all so I can't sit there and blame him in the least and I'm not going to because it's really good knife really good flipper uh, I can do all my tricks with it no problem it just glides in your hand it's a beautiful uh, knife and for those of y'all who really want to get into flipping I suggest y'all try uh, start out with a benchmark yeah benchmark that's the name of the company uh, start out with them they're cheap inexpensive and if it breaks on you you can just go buy you another one or you can just find you some parts and put it back together it's really not that difficult alright y'all uh, thank you very much for watching I hope this has been a little bit uh, entertaining as well as a little bit of uh, educational if you haven't comment or subscribe pretty please do so keep y'all's finger in the tool thank you very much have a nice day y'all bye